Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to my next Avatar Conquest video, and as you can see, as in the last one, my ally brought two units of cavalry. This is the same lobby as my last Avatar Conquest video, so uh, he bought two units of Yari cavalry again, except this time he spreads them wide, so he has to split up his troops, and I also brought a unit of Saber Cavalry, so I was going to charge right here, but I didn't want to get destroyed by the Bow Warrior Monks. So I decided to send my Cavalry over here to help out my ally take out these Parrot Guns, because I have a clear run from the front. So I'm just hoping that my Saber Cavalry get there in time to take out the Parrot Guns. So my ally gets routed pretty quickly by these Shogatai and Kyoto Police, because uh, the hill is just horrible for horses it takes so long to run up the hill you you lose so especially this part here it's very steep so I'm taking a huge gamble by trying to get up the straight part of the hill right here because this is the steepest part so it's still pretty open and the enemy hasn't noticed me yet until he routes my allies horses and then sees me coming right up the hill I was so close too just a couple more seconds of my ally being there, and I would have made it, but then they slow down on the hill, and it's basically shooting fish in a barrel for the Tosa Riflemen, and they route pretty much instantly. I went from like 25, 20, I went from 20 to 2 in seconds, and I think they killed the last, the last one, or they leave the last one, I guess. Nope, he's gone too. All, all 20 of them get massacred. So that was a bit of a failed cavalry rush, so uh, they still have their parrot guns operational, which is unfortunate. So if you saw the last video, you'll know that this guy and his ally actually attacked from the same side last time, and we were able to beat them pretty handily uh, when they started coming up through this gate. We pretty much just positioned our red bears and imperial infantry across like this, and... Uh, and just shot everyone that came through. So they tried to split up our forces this time and attempt a different tactic where they would come from different sides. And I honestly think that it would be the better tactic, but for some reason, this guy decides to send his troops within the range of my infantry for only for a brief second, but it's enough to get a few kills off. So I don't know why he did that. But this guy's bringing his Tosa Rifleman, so I'm going to probably start pulling these guys off the wall. Because they have much longer range than the Imperial Infantry. <laughs> so they'll most likely be gone soon. And... These guys are just lining up here. I'm not sure what he's trying to do yet. He's starting to move up. And this is when he was standing right outside my range of my... Uh, of my Imperial Infantry, and I was just waiting for him to move up, and he took like two steps up, and I just shot right into his Warrior Monks, and I got nine of them dead. So, this guy was, uh, was a little bit too aggressive in his moving up, because he was basically just letting me decimate his, his bows, and that's really the only advantage he had over us, because his bows should have more range than these guys. I don't know why he's moving them up so close. But, uh, he kept doing that, so eventually we just decide, let's move a bunch of our troops over here and just completely destroy him while he's moving his guys up. So he's, my ally starts moving in his red bears and I'm moving in a couple imperial infantry units that'll probably be going up in this house and around here. Yeah, and now he doesn't even move the, uh, the archers back. He decides to just leave them there and skirmish with the Red Bears, which is a really bad idea. Especially since the Red Bears are being covered by, uh, this wall of the tower, so I don't, I really, I mean this wall of the castle, so I don't really know why he would try to have a skirmish there with them. So this guy looks like he's getting ready to, uh, make an assault, and he didn't bring any archers this time. And it looks like we actually did destroy his parrot guns, since they're off of them now. So I don't think he'll be- oh no, he actually is- how is he doing that? Which one of those units does it? 
I actually don't know which one which even does that because I do not have Kyoto Queens yet, so that might be them. And I don't have Shogatai yet, so I've never used either of those two in Avatar Conquest, so it could be either of them. But he just burnt down our gate, so he's going to be winding up here and going through the gate. So now we have a few guys lined up here. Since this guy seems to like lining up in front of us and just letting us shoot him very much, we uh, we leave our guys here and just wait for him to move up and see what happens. But now we're focusing a lot of our attention over here because this guy has a clear path with a bunch of melee units to just storm in. So we're, uh, we're waiting for him to make his move, and sorry about that, that was my phone. And this guy, again, moves in his troops. And he starts moving in all of them within range. So I believe I send, yep, I send over both of my other units of Imperial Infantry, I brought three of them. And, uh, my ally sends in a couple Red Bear units. So we pretty much just have a wall of gun units decimating everything he sends at us. I don't know why he didn't just have his uh, bone units just skirmish with us until we decided to move off the wall, but instead he decides to send them right at our troops. So as you can see, they're just getting massacred at the moment. And it especially helps because of the hill, so they have to... Uh, they have to run slower to get up it. So uh, it, it pretty much just makes this a kill zone, this entire area here. And now he's trying to destroy the gate. But just by standing there, we're routing all of his troops. Unfortunately, I had an entire unit of Imperial Infantry up there. And when he destroys the gate, the whole unit dies. So that is a problem. And now his ally starts sending in some troops, but luckily my ally realizes it before I do. And he already has some Red Bear set up to take care of it, so... I then, I have my general set up firing at will right, right over the, uh, the Red Bear, so he's getting some shots in. And then I send in my Katana and my Spear Levy. And then I, uh, have these Imperial Infantry standing back here, so I realize it and start moving them into position, I believe. And this guy is pretty much just an afterthought at this point because we've decimated pretty much all of his units. And actually my ally had a Red Bear unit here that did a good job of holding off the Kyoto police and Shogatai that were coming here. And uh, these Spear Levy and Katanakachi also did a good job. So we routed all of his melee units pretty quickly. He'll probably recover a few with his general. And, uh, so all he has left is his Tosa and his, and his general unit. And over here, this guy's sending in everything he has as a last ditch effort. So I line up my general to start shooting right at him. Uh, I have some Imperials that I'll probably pull off the wall soon. I don't know why I didn't pull them off the wall quicker. I guess I was just preoccupied somewhere else. So these guys are getting beaten pretty badly. And now I start pulling my Imperials off the wall and I just line them up there and let them fire at will. And this guy starts sending in his general, which is really stupid to do. Like, even if it's just a last ditch effort, send in your Tosis first. Sorry about that, guys. A bit of an interruption there, but, uh. So he sent in his Tosa and his general as was happening, and. The red bear here pretty much decimated them instantly. So that is the end of the battle. And good game to my ally and my enemies. That was... This was a good lobby that I was in. We got in a couple good games. So uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already.